So let's open our project. To create a project or open the existing projects, you have to go to the file. If you want to create a new projects, then you just click on the new projects. And then it comes that write you the name of your projects. I write uh, life cycle assessment of, uh, of wood. Um, Wood to energy. Click OK. Then it create a project. Okay, the option comes that project has been created. Select a library you wish to use. Okay, then we have to select the library. Uh, there are several libraries, data, data libraries like. Um, the background data so you have to find out which methods okay then we if you want to in, uh, add some descriptions about the projects then here is about that for example i named the project lcr wood to energy then created it this one you can write about authors write some comments type of lca maybe at uh, internal lca external for product declaration external lca or whatever so i write take the internal lca and then it comes with some that what you have to follow in that case okay what is the goal scope interested parties what is the function unit also so this is the document that you can make to remind you uh, so by looking at this description of the projects you can quickly remind what you have done in your projects so under the libraries we have uh, okay we select the data libraries we have choose the library then after that i think the next step is to choose the impact assessment method what impact assessment method is is good for you or you want to use there are several impact assessment methods that has been categorized uh, i would say geographically there are a few that are most common and frequently used in the life assessment studies in europe so here uh, how method has been created and what methodology has been uh, adopted to create the weighting factors and who did this one so uh, all information can be found here so if you want to know more about this method so there is a link that to go to this here and then find more about it so similarly for this one for this one equal scarcity for example so you can find all information about what it is and so on. So environmental prices is another method for the European, in the European Union to be used. So uh, there are some global methods that uh, are used nowadays. So recipe is one of the famous methods that is used for the lifestyle assessment studies, particularly for the research, in research. So in recipe, you have endpoints, and then midpoints. So in each um, in each category, endpoint and midpoints, you have three variants. In North American, there are two. Uh, in this LC software for water footprints, there are some methods. So when we have selected this one, for example, I select in my project, I select global recipient midpoint hierarchical, and then the weighting factor is this one. Okay, I say select uh, used by check set as a default. I said okay, set as a default. So in my whole calculation is going to set this selection okay, then the interpretation. So, so there is uh, are two things interpretation of the results. You can write about how you want to interpret your results 
and then there are some documentation that links to something. If you want to create uh, open a new uh, an existing projects, then you can go open projects, then a list of all the created projects in the SEMA Pro or shown here. Uh, if you have a single user license, then you can see all the projects that has been created by other uh, in your office or yeah, maybe all the persons who actually use that license. In, so you don't need to go into the others if you have created your own so you can select on this one for example we have created this one so we double click on this one or open this one so it's opening the project